Do you want to play heroes early on in Galactic Assault in Star Wars Battlefront 2? Do you ever wonder how people get heroes within the first 5 minutes of a game when you're not even halfway there? Well today, I'm going to tell you how to get your 6,000 battle points before phase 2 regardless of your skill level. There are a few things that you can do in the game that will help you get a ton of battle points and stay tuned till the end and I'll tell you the best loadout to use in order to get a hero in the first 3 minutes. But before we get into that, if you learn anything in this video or would like more like this, please hit that like and subscribe button. I would love your support and my goal is to help new and struggling players improve their gaming experience. If there's something you want to know, please let me know or if there's something you're struggling with, that way I can get you guys the help that you need. Each class has a card to improve their battle point income and that's the Bounty Hunter Star card. The Bounty Hunter card will increase the amount of battle points you gain by up to 20% when fully upgraded. Even if you don't have it upgraded at all, it'll still get you 5% more battle points for everything you do in game. I would recommend running this card only in Galactic Assault, since the only thing that costs battle points in Strike or Blast are the Trooper Reinforcements, the Jet Trooper and the Enforcer. But they're not really all that different from playing the normal Trooper. Honestly, it's easy enough to get the points for them in those two game modes. So now that you have the Bounty Hunter card equipped, we need to maximize the amount of points we're getting. So we want to focus on taking actions that will give us the most amount of raw battle points. The largest point givers in the game are the objectives. No matter what, you want to be playing the objective or near the objective in order to maximize your battle points. If you're on the defense and you're in the area of the objective, kill the players around it. If you're on the attack, you need to be killing the defenders in the area or interacting with the objective. Interacting gives more points than slaying, so if you have a chance to pick up a launcher or arm the bomb, you want to make sure that you do that. If you're on the defense and an MTT or ATAT -AT has been hit with the ion launcher, stop what you're doing and shoot at the MTT or ATAT. -AT. You rack up a ton of points doing this, and for some reason I don't see a lot of people shooting at them. Not only does it improve your chances of winning phase 1, but it lowers the ticket count for the opposing team on phase 2. Since the lower the MTT or ATAT -AT is at the end of phase 1, the less tickets available in phase 2. The third way to gain a ton of points quick is to use the armor for the dark side. That's either the ATST or the droid tank. The light side ATRT is not nearly as durable and you can be killed as the rider easily, so it doesn't work so well on the ATRT as much as it does for the other armor types. This also goes for all versions of the speeder except for on crate or hoth, where you'll be able to be shot off of the speeder without them having to engage the actual vehicle. Again, you want to play near the objective, but with the vehicles you have a ton of health and can slay massive amounts of troops. If you start getting low, like with two bars left on the health bar, you want to leave the vehicle and continue your life as the last class you played. This will give you a buy one get one free on your life, and it will make it easy for you to get the points that you spent back, and then some with ease. The card that's coming up on your screen now is where I go into detail on the ATST. Finally, we come to the best loadout to get the most amount of battle points, and what I and others are using in order to get heroes within the first three minutes of a game. The best class to get battle points with, and the best class in the game in general, is the officer class. The cards you want to use for the officer and preferably max out are officer's presence, bounty hunter, and improved battle command. In order for this to work, you will need to be near the largest group of teammates you can find near the objective, since a large amount of your points are going to come from the Officer's Presence card. Officer's Presence reduces the amount of time before friendly troops start to recover their health. When you're near them, they'll start regenerating health from your presence, and you start to gain points. The more friendly troops you're near, the more points you're going to get. You will still want to engage enemies though. Don't just sit back and cover and not engage, since you'll get a ton of points from kills and assists as well. When you start getting points from the presence card and your own eliminations, you'll get the extra points from the bounty hunter card that we discussed earlier. You'll also get points from giving everyone else health in the area with your battle command, and since they'll have more health to regenerate, you'll get more points as they regain those extra hit points. I would not recommend this build for Blast or Strike, but if you're in Galactic Assault and all you want to do is play a hero and get it quick, this is how you do it. I hope this helps some of you that have been struggling to get heroes in Galactic Assault. If you learned anything from this, please give the video a like, and then hit the subscribe and notification button so you know when new videos are out on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Streams will be on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8pm Central as well. In the comments, let me know who your favorite hero is that you'll be playing more of since you've learned how to get them quickly. I personally love Rey and Boba Fett. 
even with Boba's nerf, I still love using the jetpack and the rocket barrage, it's extremely lethal. Ray is just straight up wall hacks and really needs to get nerfed. Also, if you're on the PlayStation, come join my PlayStation community. It's redwolf 72 ps 4 where we can talk and party up for a few matches. You can also find me on Twitter, at redwolf 72 ps 4 Thank you all for watching, and as always, I will see you in game.